đến với sở nghĩa vị trí tập 3 lần này, chúng ta sẽ cùng nhau phát họa bức tranh cuộc đời của mỗi người qua từng giai đoạn, tuổi thiếu niên, tuổi trung niên, rồi đến khi về già, với sự thay đổi và áp nghiệp của mỗi độ tuổi. Chúng ta cũng sẽ nhìn thấy sự hy sinh vô điều kiện mà cha mẹ dành cho con cái qua đoạn đối thoại giữa cho và nhận, giữa cây và cậu bé động chỉ biết nhận của cậu bé và sự cho đi, sự hy sinh vô điều kiện của cây giúp chúng ta thức tỉnh và dần mình nhìn lại mối quan hệ của mình trong gia đình. Qua câu chuyện này, Apex Story Time muốn nhắn nhủ và gợi ý đến các em hai cách để cùng lan tỏa yêu thương. Thứ nhất, chúng ta hãy cùng nói những lời yêu thương dành cho người thân của mình. Thứ hai, chúng ta hãy cố gắng tìm những hành động để quan tâm, chia sẻ giúp đỡ người thân và những người xung quanh. Chúng tôi hy vọng rằng các em sẽ học được những bài tập lan tỏa, yêu thương và nếu như còn thần ngại, hãy tải bài tập của sự tuyên truyền tập 3. Chúng tôi sẽ cùng giúp các em viết những thông điệp yêu thương và ghi lại những câu chuyện nhỏ trong cuộc sống kể về những việc tốt mà mình đã làm cho những người thân yêu. Bây giờ, hãy cùng lan tỏa yêu thương cùng với sự tuyên truyền. Hello everybody, my name is Darren and thank you so much for coming back. I'm very happy to see you again. We are still reading The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Do you remember the story? Once there was a boy and he loved a tree and the tree loved him and they did so many good things together. So what happened to the boy as he grows from his childhood? into his adolescence. He no longer wants to play. All he needed was money, yes. And the tree gave the boy some apples to sell for money. So now, what happened to the tree and to the boy as he grows into his early adulthood? And what happens to the tree and the boy as he grows into middle adulthood? And what happens to the tree and the boy as he grows into late adulthood? Okay. So, do you want to find out what happens? Yes? Very good. It's story time. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy. Climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, said the boy. I want a wife and I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy, she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk 
and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. This is the end of the story. Thank you so much for reading with me. It's been an amazing story. Once there was a boy and he loved a tree. And the tree loved the boy. They did so many fun activities together. But as he grew from a little boy into his adolescence, the little boy no longer wanted to play. Now the little boy wanted money. And the tree, can you remember? The tree gave the boy apples to sell for money. And then he grew into his early adulthood. And what did he want in his early adulthood? He wanted a house. He wanted to build a house for his wife and his children. So what did the tree give the boy? Branches. The tree said, come boy, cut down my branches and build a house. And so the boy cut down the branches and built a house. Then he grew into his middle adulthood. And what did he want in his middle adulthood? He wanted a boat so he could sail away. And what did the tree give the boy to build a boat? The tree gave the boy her trunk. The tree said, come boy, cut down my trunk and build a boat and you can sail away. And so, the boy cut down the trunk and built a boat and sailed away. Then he grew into late adulthood. And what, what did he want then? All he wanted was a quiet place to sit down and rest. And the tree said to the boy, Come boy, sit down and rest. And the boy did sit down and rest. And the tree was happy. Okay, everybody, please take out your worksheets, just like what is on the TV. We are going to finish this worksheet together. When the boy was a little boy in his childhood, all he wanted to do was play and have fun. Then, he grew into his adolescence. What did the boy want in his adolescence? Money. And what did the tree give to the boy? 
apples to sell for money. All her apples. Then he grew into his early adulthood. And what did he want in his early adulthood? A house for his wife and his children. So what did the tree give to the boy? All her branches to build a house. And then he grew into middle adulthood. And what did he want in his middle adulthood? That's right, he wanted a boat. So what did the tree give to the boy to build a boat? Very good. She gave him her trunk. And when he grew into his late adulthood, what did the boy want? He wanted a quiet place to sit and rest. And the tree gave him her stump. When the boy was in his childhood, until he grew into an old man in his late adulthood, was the boy a giver or was the boy a taker? The boy was the taker. And what about the tree? When the boy was in his childhood, until he grew into his late adulthood, was the tree a giver or was the tree a taker? Yes, the tree was the giver. So the boy from childhood to late adulthood was always the taker. And the tree from childhood to late adulthood was always the giver. And this is not a good relationship. How can we learn to be more giving? We can learn to be more giving by saying kind words and doing small good deeds. Now, please take out your worksheet. I will show you how to write some kind words. Dear Mum, thank you for taking me to school when I was young. Thank you for taking care of me when I was sick when I was young. Love, Darren. I have four beautiful notes for you to finish writing. You can choose your favorite one, or you can write all four for all the givers in your life that you want to thank. Okay, please take out this worksheet. This is your homework. I want you to write a story about the small good deeds you have done to your givers, and then send it back to your teachers for comments. Now, take out this worksheet for your homework. I want you to imagine that the boy from the giving tree has a son. And one day, when the son is grown up, he wants to go and find the tree. He wants to climb up the trunk and eat apples and swing from the branches and sleep in the shade. But all he finds is an old stump. So imagine you were the little son of the boy in the giving tree and write down your thoughts about how you would feel. So all the apples are gone, all the leaves are gone, and all the branches are gone, and the trunk is gone. All the little boy finds is an old stump. Now, let's imagine you were the little son of the boy in the giving tree and write down your thoughts about how you would feel. It has been an amazing journey we've spent together reading 
The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Now, remember to do your homework and send it to your teachers for comments. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye-bye!